Hey, what's up back here, Ninja Kid fam? We are here at the one and only Erica Cook. You may have seen her on Team Ninja Warrior and the Ninja Warrior community. So we're gonna just jump right into this interview. Okay, Erica, thanks for joining us. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, where, how you got into Ninja Warrior, all that. Okay, um, I'm from Gainesville, Florida. I am 28, and I kind of just fell into it. Uh, I'd watched it on TV, but I hadn't really had any experience, and I tested the course down in Orlando. Um, okay. I guess that was season seven, and uh, I just had a blast, and so I was like, um, that's what I want to do next. And, here we are. <laughs> Very cool. And then you ended up on Team Ninja Warrior yes. with with the uh, real life beasts, right? Yes. Solid yeah. team there. Uh, so kind of lead into that. Ben's got a question for you. So okay. what do you like better, the format of American Ninja Warrior or Team Ninja Warrior? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I like them both for different reasons. I like Team Ninja Warrior because you know when you go into it, you're always going to have more than one chance at the course. Mm -hmm. So even if you only go one round, you still get two races. So you either go into the winner's bracket or the loser's bracket. For American Ninja Warrior, you know, you only have one shot, but you can kind of take your time and be a little bit more methodical. So it's two totally different approaches. So yeah. they're both fun for different reasons. Okay, so you like them both. I like them both, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Totally different. Yeah. So, uh... Tell, tell us a little bit about the knee injury and like how that came to be. I, I hate to jump into the bad news, but <laughs> yeah. it's been a journey for you for a full year. Um, yeah, it's almost been, it's been over a year since injury. I've been 10, -ish, 10 and a half months post-op, so wow. not quite a year out of surgery. But yeah, um, we were doing really well and we made it all the way into the final episode of Team Ninja Warrior and it just kind of took a bad dismount. It wasn't even, there was no crazy falls or flips it was just landed wrong one too many times and mm. just, you know kind of blew up on me yeah <laughs> but um when we were so close to the end we only had uh, that we, we still ended up winning our matchup so we went to the, you know, the finale so we are really just one race away from going to the big finale but yeah. we've gotten a little bit closer we got closer this past season than we did the first season so hopefully they'll bring a season three back and we can win it all there you go that's awesome yeah. um yeah, and, and you ended up, was it tearing meniscus and your ACL? Just ACL. Oh, just ACL, um, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, somehow my meniscus was fine, which is good. Yeah. Um, so I wasn't weight-bearing restricted after yeah. surgery. Okay. Um, but no, just just ACL. Just totally, ACL. Just ACL. <laughs> yeah. But it, yeah, it was it was a big, big blow, but, you know, yeah. it's going to happen. It's risks and rewards in the Ninja Warrior. <laughs> Absolutely, yep. Any, any athletic competition, there's that risk yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Yep. Um, we're going to kind of jump into some super fan questions. Okay. Uh, we've had the most super fan questions ever with you. I mean, people people love their Erica, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to jump right in. This one's from Ninja Kid Nate. Jason's going to ask the question for him. What was the hardest part about having your knee injury? That's a good one. Um, the hardest part, I think, for me was having to slow down. Mm -hmm. um, because I've never had a, a major sports injury in okay. all, all of my athletics. Um, and so I went from being able to go 100 miles an hour to like totally having to slam on brakes. And yeah. that was hard for me because I, I didn't really plan for that so much. You know, I know I was hurt. I knew I had to have surgery, but I really didn't, didn't think about how much it was going to slow me down. So I think that was the hardest part was just having to kind of slow down and take my time and, and focus on it. Okay. And what, what other sports were in your background? Um, I did weightlifting, okay. I did volleyball, and I did I ran track. Oh, wow. So, so I, somehow I managed to escape all of those without a major injury. <laughs> and yeah. then I did Ninja Warrior. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And maybe some of that was, uh, you know, building up to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, oh for Years sure. Years of damage, maybe, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, wow. Uh, so, next question is from the real Ginger23. Uh, Ben's going to ask that for him. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, hopefully, in five years. Hopefully, very similar to where I am now. I hope that I'm. I hope that I'm still on the same Ninja Warrior path because that would be awesome. Assuming mm. it continues on. Um, but yeah, just enjoying life and being healthy, and hopefully, no more knee problems. But um, just have fun. That's what I love about Ninja Warriors. It's fun. It's just constantly evolving, and it's constant new new ways to have fun. Yeah. Very cool. 
Another one from Cody Lee or Lay. Uh, how did you stay motivated to work out while recovering from your surgery, knowing that you had lost a lot of muscle and all that? That was actually really easy because I really? can't sit still to save my life. And so I like yeah. took my first opportunity to get into the gym. I, I took it. I just, you know, I just wanted to get out of the house, yeah. stop sitting around. And that, that actually was really easy. I kind of focused on the things that I was able to do or that I was allowed to do. And um, yeah, that, was, that wasn't hard. I, I enjoyed doing something active rather than sitting at home watching TV because I don't, I don't sit still very well. <laughs> yeah, you, you already said it. You don't like to slow down. I don't like to slow down. <laughs> no, that's great. Um, so what, what have you done in the meantime, like for, uh, obviously you're recovering, um, and, uh, we've been following you for quite a while now and watching you just do the stability balls, do the jumping, you know, just, was it yesterday you posted about jumping onto the ball one leg? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and that's, a you know, the injury has a physical piece of healing, but the mental game is strong, right? It's huge. Yeah. And how have yeah. you been working on that or, you know, what's that struggle like? Um, I think that's the hardest part. Yeah. Um, you know, the physical passes quite quickly, but you always have in the back, for me anyway, in the back of my mind is I don't want to do that again. So I want to, you know, protect and I find myself protecting my knee when I do jumps and whatever. And, um, I'm still in rehab, which is great because they can, they kind of push me out of my comfort zone. Whereas if I was just doing it on my own, I'd be like, well, maybe that's not a good idea. You know, maybe, you know, I don't want to hurt it and have to have, have it fixed again. Um, so they actually, my PT is really good about pushing me and doing movements comparable to Ninja Warrior, but okay. I can do it like under their supervision. So I feel a little bit better about it, but I can still do it. Um, so that's been big in terms of mentally is I, I'm still under the supervision of a therapist. Oh yeah. Very yeah. cool. So you know, you're not doing something wrong or right. Yeah. Go right. pushing your body too hard or whatever. That's pretty yeah, cool. Actually, I think they pushed me harder than I probably would put push myself very cool um, and I, I enjoy it because I'm like I said I'm still in the space where I'm kind of scared <laughs> to hurt it again and yeah. so they they have me doing things that I wouldn't go do or due to the maybe the extent or the intensity that they have me do it yeah interesting yeah. and I, I think that you know it's interesting to see the science of recovery and body and all of that you know evolve uh, I started off as a personal training major in college and uh, so I just love the body but they and you, you know, back then it was like all about the rice method, right? Rest or elevate, ice, you know, all that stuff. And now, like, that's starting to get disproved. Like, don't do that stuff. You get it moving. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I think I think you're right. For me, they, um, you know, we still ice and compress and elevated, but there's no really rest period. They had me back in therapy um, yeah. 24 hours after my surgery, starting to move it. Um, so the the rest periods definitely. Maybe yeah. for just ACL, but um, we there wasn't a whole lot of rest. It was yeah. PT right after surgery. Wow, very cool. Which was not pleasant, but no, <laughs> oh, I can't imagine. Um, and what have you done in the meantime to uh, whatever you can do to prevent injury in the future? You know? Um, I've taken. I was really bad about, and this is bad that I was so bad about recovery and and again resting and taking yeah. it easy. Um, but I was really not good at remembering to warm up and stretch and let my body rest. And now I, I force myself to do it. Even though I don't really feel like I need to, I know that that's probably what led to my injury is, you know, every, I was tired. We'd been going for two days now and I wasn't stretching and we barely warmed up. And those yeah. are important things, especially, you know, the order that you get to do before yes. for doing stuff like that. So I'm trying to force myself to be a little bit better about that. It's definitely, I should have done it, you know, in college or high school or whatever, but yeah. Better late than never. Yeah, absolutely. but that's definitely been huge because I was I was very bad about taking care of my body before, yep. and I'm learning slowly, but I'm learning now. Yep. Yeah, we actually talked about that in the interview with Karen and Maggie. You know, I'm, yes. I'm 36, Maggie's 36, I believe. Karen, yep. you know, 40, and it's like, yeah, we talked about as we get older. You know, yeah, we're no more spring I was chickens. With this past weekend, with, I was with both of them. Yes, that was awesome. I, I saw a few posts about that. That looked like a blast. Yeah, they're fun. Celebrating, they're fun. Oh, that's good. Uh, final question we'll leave you with. Jason's got it, it's from Eric Totten. What does a ninja look like in a ninja gym? What? Try again. What does a ninja look for in a ninja gym? Ranger in the ninja community? Yeah, what does a, a ninja look for in a ninja gym? 
So like oh, what yeah, types of that's... obstacles or range of obstacles, you know, maybe variety of training. What, when a ninja walks into a gym, what are they looking for? That's a really good question. Um, cause my answer has kind of evolved after being injured. I would first look for safety, crash pads, good mats. Um, before that, before getting hurt, we went to some really sketchy places with no mats and concrete floors. And oh yeah. That, for me, that would be a top priority now because I yeah. don't want to get hurt again. Very cool. Um, but lo- other, after that, I would say, um, probably the ability to like string multiple obstacles together rather than just having, you know, like a salmon ladder over here and a wall over here. Um, I really enjoy gyms where you can do things back to back to back. Yeah. You know, so you can kind of help it. It makes it infinitely harder. Yeah. Um, that cool. would be, the, I think, the second thing I would look into. Awesome. Yeah, because it's more like the show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't just do one thing and rest and then do another and rest. And totally. That's great if you only have to do one thing, but it doesn't, yep. unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. Right. I, I must say, the first time I went up the warp wall, uh, I was surprised at how tired I was, you know? It's not easy. No, and you know, I was just gassed and I, of course I gave it 150% when I probably only needed about 80% effort, but yeah. you know, the first time you gotta go all out. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> but you know, it's like, wow, I didn't realize how tired you'd be and then you have to keep going. So yeah, yeah definitely. Well, yeah, any, any last words of advice for any ninjas out there training? We got some kids out there watching, we got future ninjas out there? Just, uh, my best advice would be find something that you enjoy doing and as long as you're having fun doing it, Mm. then keep on. That's what I love about the obstacles and Ninja Warrior and the community. I'm sure everybody that you've interviewed touches on the community. The Ninja Warrior community is just phenomenal. Everybody says it, but it's, it's totally true. And so you go into a gym or a competition and everybody's cheering each other on. And I think, I don't know who I was talking with, but there was somebody that, we were run. We were watching, and we were actually cheering harder for them probably than you would even for yourself. And it's totally genuine. So that's that's yes. what I really enjoy about it. But um, yeah, just have fun. Find something that that you enjoy doing and have fun with it. And Absolutely. Keep evolving. Yeah. Very cool. Well, we'll leave links down below in the description for Erica. Go follow her. She's awesome. Cheer her on as she finishes recovering. And we hope to see. Uh, the ninja beasts up on top the real life beasts up on top yes. next year for team ninja warrior Me too. <laughs> awesome well thanks erica thanks Absolutely. for joining us